Thanks for joining us from the Ohio Agnet Voice You Know with the News You Trust studio, sponsored by Grain Equipment Company, where innovation meets execution. I'm Dale Menyo. Joining me is Mike Weckeser. We are at the Farm Science Review, and you can check them out at the corner of Land and Market. Mike, nice to see you this year. As uh, our first conversation, I'd read a while back that you had some new color schemes and things we could talk about. Yes, What's yes, hot? we do. We redid our show building this year after some of the wind damage that we had, and we've got our weathered gray color on there this year. We've got black roof and weathered gray side steel so that's one of the new colors we've got some wood colors rustic bronze is what we call one of them yeah stop over and check those out those are new and cool And I read some things the other day. You're starting to go back to some of the buildings. If people want improvements, they want modifications, maybe add some things. What all can be done in that arena? We can do really anything. We've got an entire division dedicated to repairs, retrofits, and uh, remodels. So, you know, we can add on, just reskin it. We can do some work inside, insulate it, any of that kind of stuff. And we've got representatives from our repair department over there with us this week. What if I always wanted a porch and I didn't do it when I built it because you never know just how much you're going to use? We put porches on all the time. Yep, all different kinds of them, too. So you're all set. As you look to the big picture, economically, there's got to be lots of different. Is there a segment that's still pretty hard driving in the build industry, or has everybody pulled back a little? Yeah, you know, interestingly enough, our suburban market has really gone strong this year. You know, a lot of people still need to get those garages or whatever those accessory buildings are going to be used for. Those have been doing really well for us this year. So what's the most popular size when you talk about the suburban market? Most of the time we're looking at something that's like 30 by 40, 40 by 60. That would be on the the bigger end for that type of a for that type of a building. I fully expect you to say not big enough. <laughs> well, nobody's ever built it and said I wish I hadn't built it that big, That's right? what everybody says 2 to 3 years <laughs> later, but convincing that through the process, mm-hmm. but it's nice to know you can't add on. Oh yeah, absolutely. We set them up all the time for, you know, plans in a, a future phase or or different things like that and we've got like I said a division that can handle that specifically for you. When it comes to financing, do you have your own? Should people come with their own partner in this? How would you uh, best like it? We like to do whatever's easiest for the customer. So we do partner with AgriFinancial for the agricultural customers, anything that could be be farm business. And then we do have another lender for, for Suburban that would be Lightstream. Mike Weckeser, my guest from Morton Buildings. You can find him here at Farm Science Review through Thursday at the corner of Land and Market. Today's weather brought to you by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. Here's the forecast. Dry weather continues for the next four to five days, but we do have a chance of moisture early next week. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin. Let's take a look at that Ohio Ag Weather Update. Like we said, I don't think there's anything that's going to be giving any threat of significant moisture here over the next few days. Maybe a little bit of heat-based pop-up action uh, late Friday, Saturday but don't count on it. Our big weather system shows up, I think, overnight next Monday night through Tuesday and Wednesday, where we can see showers and storms anywhere from a quarter to one and a half inches possible. Coverage at 80% of the Buckeye State. Behind that, we see a mix of clouds and sunshine, but not a lot of moisture for the balance of the week. I'm meteorologist Ryan Martin. And thanks, Ryan. We hope you're right for the weekend. Back with more after this. In any year, your best harvest is only a few upgrades away. Seed Consultants exclusively serves the Eastern Corn Belt, combining our deep knowledge of local conditions with high-performing products fit for your acres. Most importantly, our customized services put our products and your business in a position to succeed. We help you start with better to grow your best. Visit SeedConsultants.com to learn why our products and services are simply better. Navigating mental health insurance benefits can be overwhelming but you don't have to do it alone. The Mental Health Insurance Assistance Office is here to guide you. Our expert team will help you connect with your health insurance plan to understand available behavioral health benefits. Say goodbye to frustration and hello to control over your mental well-being. Call 855-438-6442 today. Today's market is brought to you by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. As we uh, update you on the conversations here at the Farm Science Review, we've heard about the lowest moisture we've heard so far on soybeans being harvested is about 6.3%. A gentleman came in earlier today and talked about his corn harvest. While he didn't share the yield, he was eager to share that the moisture ranged from 13% to as high as 22% in the same field. And he didn't think it was nearly that low, but thought he should go out and test it out. So that seems to be some of the conversation. A rough guess today, I'd say the crowd is 
well over last yesterday, maybe as much as twice as much as yesterday, but there were no official numbers released. Market numbers continue in the same direction as this morning, but in some cases not as much in that direction. December corn up one and three quarters at 4.14 and a quarter. March 4.32 and a half up one and three quarters. November on the beans, 10, 19 and a half, up 13 and a half. January's up 13 at 10, 37 and three quarters. December wheat's up four and a half at 580 and a quarter cent. July new crop, 615 and one quarter, up three cents. In livestock, primarily lower. October cattle, 178.57, down 22. December now sneaks in two cents higher at 179.87. October lean hogs, $81.50, down 27. December's unchanged at 73.70. October feeder cattle, $239.97, down 77 cents. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dale Menio. This is the Ohio Agnet.